Oh my god, which way does that go now? So that goes that way. Hello and welcome back to my channel. The camera is a little bit different today. I am recording on my phone because as of the last recording, my camera died and I did forget to charge it. I'm hoping everything's all right and it'll run smoothly if i look anywhere else i do apologize it's because i am not used to this setup today i will be doing the unboxing of tales by mail this is a bi-monthly book box which specifically centers around middle grade reads and all children's books i have wanted one of these boxes for so long since gavin over at how to train your gavin got a box and wanted one ever since Sadly, at the time that I did want one, I just didn't have the money for it. But now I do have the money for it, so I'm excited. This is the beautiful book box. And let me open it up for you. I actually love the box so much. It's done like a little book and it's so cute and it's got lovely illustrations on. So this is his side. So you get like this lovely little orange tissue paper, which is very like spooky. So, I believe, so this is, oh my god, <laughs> let me try and find a thing for you. So this wants to, <laughs> oh I'm sorry, there's a book in this box that I was not expecting and I have been wanting this book for so, so, so long since the author like said that she was doing another one, so <laughs> I never cottoned on that this book was going to be in the box and I've waited two days to get it and oh my god. <gasps> so, let me just carry on. So this month's theme is Magic Menageries. If you do follow Gav, you'll know all about it. So you get like these little, oh bloody hell, I'm not very professional. You get these little cards that you then collect and put in a ring binder file so this one is as i say magic menageries and you can see it there then you get like a little review card of the book uh, that's just come out and you get a little letter from the author which by my scream when i opened the box I cannot believe that book is in here. And then you do like a little review card as well of the book and there's another letter from the author on the back. Um, I'll go through the authors in a minute after I've, I've read them. Um, I've told you what's in the box. And then you get questions for the books that's in it and you get loads of little prompts and stuff that you can also do as well. It gives you some challenges to do. So, Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, it's such a beautiful box. I'm so happy I've got it. Ah! So because this is my first ever box, I've got like a little badge and it says, Welcome, here's a gift to make your membership official. Sew this patch to your favourite jacket, bag, pouch or pocket. Wear it with pride. And it's it's the logo. I don't know if you can see. There you go. It's the logo with the little two chameleons on. Oh, that's so cute. I have got, it's taking every inch of me not to show you the books that have come um, in this box uh, so far. So I've got like some little temporary animal lover tattoos. Just super, super, super cute. Oh, what's this? Is that a magnet? <gasps> oh my God. Where's the, where's the thing that tells you what's in the box? Is it a magnet? Oh, I don't know what it is. I think it's a magnet. It looks like a magnet. It's like a little tag with wings. And then on my back, it looks magnetic. I've not really got anything in my room that's very magnetic to add it. Oh, wait, I can do it on these fingers. Oh, I've got a little pin badge. This is super cute. I'm really, really rubbish at doing these. So let me just put that box, box down. Oh, you can't really see with this lighting. Um, oh, you can see it a bit if I do it that way. Also, if you like my hat, Brain Cozy, I'll link it down below. So, the books that I have... So, the books that I've got are The Midnight Gardens by Ross Montgomery. 
and it says sometimes at the darkest hour hope shines the brightest. It says when evacuee calls childhood imaginary friends come to life, he discovers a world where myths and legends are real, but they bring dire news. Cole's sister is in danger. Together with his guardians, a six foot tiger, a badger in a waistcoat and a miniature knight, Cole must race to blitz bombed London to save her. But there are darker forces at work, even than the Nazi bombings. Soon Cole is pursued by the terrifying midwinter king who is determined to bring an eternal darkness down over everything. Oh my god. That sounds so good. I don't know if you can see. So pretty. It's probably only gonna be a super quick video by the way, folks. Um because as I say I've got somewhere I need to be. Ooh, what's under here? Oh, there's some cute little things under here as well i'll show you them in a minute now the book that i was not expecting at all like i've actually had this book on pre-order since the beginning of the year and i am so excited for it to arrive and now yeah do you know what i'm gonna do what i'm gonna do is oh my god it's signed <laughs> Oh, you know, just just wait till I tell Mr. B this. Right, so the book that I have been dying for to arrive is The Creature Keeper by Damaris Young. Now, if you know me, you know that I absolutely loved the Switching Hour by the same author that I read at the beginning of the year. And I have been waiting for this book for so, so long to arrive. And I actually saw the author doing the book plates. <laughs> through her Instagram page and I actually saw her like signing and, and printing them and I never ever 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 twigged on that they were for Tales uh, by Mail book box and I never <laughs> I'm so excited <laughs> so what it says is yeah you enter the growling howling screeching hissing diaspire hall when cora hears that diaspire's mysterious owner is looking for a new creature keeper she knows that caring for magical animals would be the best role of her wildest dreams but her new home is a strange place with secrets in its shadows and someone who will do whatever it takes to keep them hidden <coughs> oh my god it sounds absolutely amazing and i absolutely cannot wait to read it <gasps> Oh my god, I'm so happy I could cry. So, so happy. This is the Switching Hour. I absolutely adore it on so many levels. It's easily one of the best books that I have read in 2020 and it will always forever be one of my favourite books. It's about a young girl called Amaya, which I hope I'm pronouncing that right. She lives in this village with her grandmother and basically there's this strange evil monster that comes out and steals people's dreams. And then her younger brother Caleb goes missing and she goes on this adventure to try and find her brother. And she's got to get back before the badico comes. Gets her and her brother's dreams. It's a cute little girl. She's on the back. And I loved it so much. So for this book that I have been waiting for all year for it to be released, for this book to be in the Tales by Mail book box, it's, it's a dream come true. It's just, I cannot wait. I cannot, cannot, cannot cannot wait um what i might do is as i say because i have got the creature keeper on order what i might do is i might think about doing a giveaway because i don't then want to go and cancel the book because it's it's the author and they need to pay in this God forsaken awful time at the moment and every little helps. So what I will do is I will think about doing a giveaway for the extra book that I will be getting. Um, I don't know how I will do that but I'll try and figure it out. I believe I got a couple of other things as well. Ooh, what's that? Oh my god, it's a cake recipe. I have got a book, which is super cute. I do apologise if you can hear people talking. It's the family. I have got a <laughs> I've got another book more which is for the wizard in my shed by Simon Farnaby. That's cute and it's got a little little hamster on. And then which is related to the clock of stars I believe it says follow the moth 
and then on the back of it it's a recipe for a bubble cake recipe which it says a cake fit for a prince and those who happen to fall into magical lands so then that's the bubble cake recipe as well which is super cute which i will probably make at some point do you know i can't believe that i've, I've got that book i'm so 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 happy i've got it so for my first ever tales by mail box i am very 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 over the moon and very pleased with it and happy with it and i can't wait for i think the next one's in december so the next one is in december 2020 which is whimsical worlds it says worlds of wonder whimsy and wackiness away our december box this box is perfect for bookworms who like stories full of magic imagination and quirk and then that's a picture of it I hope you enjoyed that video um let me know in the comments down below if you're thinking of getting the book box as i say i'll link everything down below so you know where to get it who created it all that shebang let me know if you enjoyed it and if you read any of the books i can't wait to receive the next one in december and i shall see you all next time for the next box bye